Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing at the Madden Cheese, as always. Got another gameplay slash defensive tip video for you. Also going to be showing some offensive plays for you guys, ultimately, because, like I said, it's a gameplay. But we got a defense. We're going to be breaking down the new defense that I've been using, that I've pretty much been using all year, but it's to the point where I really perfected it, and I wanted to bring it to you guys uh, with all the little tidbits that's really been helping me out, all the little things that I've really been figuring out um, that have made this defense even better, because I've been breaking this defense down over the course of a couple games game plays but like i said there's a lot of changes this play this defense is evolving and it's to the point where i really want to bring it to you guys again and make sure that uh i try to give you a little bit more of a setup because i've had people in the past that don't necessarily understand what i'm doing so i'm gonna try to break it down as much as possible as well as show you guys some offensive plays like i'm going to show here uh if you use this defense when i get to it on the defensive side uh if you use this defense and have success stories let me know in the comment section let everybody know in the comment section how good this defense is because to me it's really one of the best pass defenses in the game i'm going to show you guys how to get sacks intercepts shut down just about everything on the field all with one play all with one setup before I get into the video though if you guys could help me out like shares comments all that stuff really helps out my channel helps out my videos so if you want to show support please show support that way other than that if you like what you see make sure you stick around by hitting the subscribe button and hopefully give me a notification bell as well so starting off on the offensive side you can see that first play was just a little bit of a dink and dunk but ultimately I'm trying to hit home runs on just about every single play that I run and that's ultimately the game plan here although I was thinking it might be a cover three looks like he might have had a recover four quarters or something because there was nobody in the middle of the field there to take away that tight end that's still one of my favorite plays even though it's been patched to hell lately uh based off the fact that it was so broken when the game came out and i put it out so much but i find that that tight end still has a lot of value that tight end on the streak now becomes reads a lot of times so on the next play I come out it looks like he's in a man coverage so i switch over to my man beater which is a lot of times a quarterback draw i motion this guy in to mirror some passing plays that i'm going to be using quite a bit and it really lets me get to the outside a lot easier uh based off of the fact that a lot of times it, it sucks in the defender but i only get a couple yards there still a good run play still gives my opponent something to think about and still something that i like to do um, especially because you know you have to you have to threaten with the run out of every formation or else your opponent's just gonna basically drop back and play the pass so now he knows that i can run with the quarterback which is ultimately the game plan this particular play right here though you can see this quite a bit this is the play that i was trying to mirror with the quarterback draw that i was trying to set up but ultimately i don't know what defense is running it looks like a cover three could be a cover four quarters i'm not sure but it's forcing a lot of short throws i'm not really getting the one play touchdowns that i'm trying to get i'm still moving the ball down the field though and the next play looks like he shifts into something um, that might be a little bit more uh, open to a streak right up the a route there but i'm still trying to get this outside route looks like he might be in a cover two and sure enough that outside route's going to get wide open this time which is what i was trying to do in the last couple plays so it looks like he finally switched over to a zone which is what i was waiting for on the defensive side we are back in the nickel two four five we're making some new adjustments though we're putting a lot of times on this defense we're putting the linebacker at the defensive end spots a lot of times we're going to put our best best linebackers at both edge rushers because ultimately they don't need to have a very high pass rush to make this defense work they just need high zones and high speed and that's all you're going to need ultimately these guys are going to get pressure and they're going to be dropping in the zone coverage quite a bit so like i said you might have seen this defensive play but you probably haven't seen the ways that i use this to get pressure and turnovers and it's really quite brilliant so ultimately this is going to be the look i'm just blitzing my user and dropping those those linebackers into hook curls that's really all you got to do that's really all that i'm going to to do for the most part the the blitzing my middle linebacker is really just to give myself a better free range of motion if you guys don't know when you blitz your user it takes away your change of direction penalty it just makes your your user defender faster if you don't blitz him he's not going to be able to move as fast it's really that simple so in the next play we're basically just sending some heat we don't actually do the full setup i put my defensive end into hook or into curl flats quite a bit just to take away the running back because the first play through the running back and every time i do that it's really it's something that i used to do more often that's why i say when i put this out originally that's how i was using it now you really have to do it this way that that hook that curl flat doesn't help at all I want to make sure that I'm taking away any middle reads, and you can see that last play, he was wide open on this next play. It's my job to take away the running back. Everything else is double teamed or shut down, and we get the sack with just two-man pressure. Now, I'm not expecting to get the sack every time with two-man pressure. This next play is going to show you how I typically get pressure with this particular play, and it's going to come from either the hook zones or the man uh, that's man to the running back, or sometimes even the tight end, depending on whether they stay home or not. If the running back stays in the block, 
typically those guys are going to turn into pass rushers and i'll show you exactly how i do that ultimately what makes this defense successful is me filling in the blanks as a user so on this next play the running back starts out in a check and release pattern you can see the second that the running back goes out so does the quarterback and anytime the quarterback leaves the pocket i'm going to send one of these extra defenders either the hook zone or the manned defender to the running back of the tight end that's in blocking or whatever the closest defender is going to go after the quarterback at that point it becomes my job to user whoever's responsibility that was but ultimately i want to act as a second defender to those hook zones those hook zones really do everything on this defense they they double team the receivers they act as QB contains they get pressure they 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 get the you know the turnovers a lot of stuff they really are the, the mvp of this defense it's really my job just to kind of freelance nope. up to the point where i can try to you know cherry pick interceptions and stuff like that like on this next play as my opponent throws an interception on fourth and 25 it was ultimately just punting it gotcha, but bitch. you can see nothing was open on any of those plays so on the offensive side, we're going to use another play that we put out recently, the Fade Smash. This was the, called the Hawks Fade Smash when I originally put it out because it's out of the Seattle Seahawks playbook. Um, that's the play that I'm going to use next. I mean, there I see a bunch of wide open lanes, so I hit him with a run play because he gave it to me. This next play is in an obvious man blitz defense, so I basically just make an adjustment to get the first down. It's second and three, hit him with a little out route. He's leaving me way too much space outside, and we're just going to take that three yards, and we turn it a little bit more, but ultimately we're going to go right back to that fade smash play because that's really what we want. We catch him in a cover three. This guy's really been mixing up his defense quite a bit, um, but the cover three is exactly what I was hoping for. So basically you can see any time that I motion that receiver across, it leaves me a huge lane to throw to on the outside here. Right, get locked. But we get a penalty on a delay of game, which kind of sucks because I really didn't expect to see him in that cover three again. He's been mixing up his defense a lot. Then we come back out. He's in that cover three one more time. So like I said, I make that motion just to get that safety over there. You can see the cornerback bites on the Y route. Break yourself, fool! But that's going to give us a wide open throwing lane to that B route, which is exactly what we wanted. And we get a one play touchdown to basically seal this deal because my opponent is going to roll out right after this. See ya! So we'll move right into the next game, get another opponent just to show you that this defense is going to have the exact same results. Um, starting off on offense one more time, I'm just going to basically, you know, the first couple plays, I'm just trying to see what he's running on, on defense. And it looks like he's running a lot of cover threes. From the first two looks, he's in a lot of cover threes. So on the next play, we're going to try to aim directly at that cover three. We're going to come out in a strong curl play that we're using on the first game. Like I said, a lot of my offense is going to be the same regardless of what I'm looking at uh, as far as my opponent's concerned. But you can see, I mean, this is the setup right here. Typically, this X route is going to be a big play right up the seam uh, or the B route, which is what I scored on in the last game play. But you can see this guy must have had that run against him a lot because he was on that slot defender all over that route. So I didn't want to take the chance. I just take the check down. I know a lot of my plays are, are popular and uh, they get used quite a bit. So obviously, my opponent here had this play used against him. On the next play, I mean, it looks like he's in a man line one more time so we're gonna hit him with that qb draw i mean you can see my offensive systems pretty much the same in both gameplays will have a much better result here uh because you know they just reacted slower to that man to the to the routes pulling back the man coverage but you can see i mean we're using pretty much the exact same plays and we're gonna go right back to the single back wing flex close which is something we use quite a bit and we're gonna write that four verticals play um which is a concept i don't know if i don't think we scored on the first play but if you if you've seen any of my gameplays you see me run this a lot you must have seen it too because he immediately shifts to a man coverage which is fine because i have have a lot of man adjustments i motion out this guy just to get the user look at that put my b route into a zig and we're going to hit a, a one play touchdown on a zig route from about 30 yards away we're just going to get a nice catch and run here we have a real speed advantage with reggie wayne make a miss do a little double juke there just to make sure nobody comes out of nowhere off screen and tackles me and we have a touchdown so back to the defensive side like i said exact same setup sometimes i put my fastest linebacker if i expect my opponent to run i'll make sure to put a fast linebacker at this spot here because ultimately you're going to need a little bit of a more run defense and since i saw my opponent when the cards came out had bo jackson it leads me to believe that i'm probably going to need some more beef so in this particular uh defensive game player this particular second game i leave my defensive ends at those spots but it's not going to change the game plan so you can see right here we got our guy in a hook once again a hook zone and sure enough he's going to drop back he's going to, he's going to double that tight end to start he's going to help out with the running back and then boom quarterback rolls out I send him nope. and i'm basically going to just drop into that running back and you can see we get pressure real simple like i said works against anybody anybody that moves out with a mobile quarterback and he's got russell wilson so i know he's going to do that quite a bit so we're going to get a lot of looks and then like i said a lot of times i leave the running back because i'm not really worried about what they can do as long as they're underneath on this next play I come out in a cover two and this is exactly why i don't run cover two zones you can see he just torches it right away so 
I'm going to dead that, go right back to my base defense. On this next play, I something I didn't really mention. I like the QB contain a lot of times with the defensive tackles. If you put linebackers at the outside defensive end positions, a lot of times you can put your defensive ends, your best pass rushers at the defensive tackle positions, which is also a really good benefit. Uh, but ultimately, I'm going to do the exact same thing. The second he rolls out, we're going to send that uh, extra defender. Oh, we can go! Woo! That closest defender, and boom, we get a sack. Nobody was even close to blocking. We just ran right around the whole pile. So, like I said, that's one of the easier ways to get pressures, get sacks in this game. On the next play, he runs a hurry up. Uh, second and 23. You can see we're getting a lot of second and longs because on first down, he's got nowhere to go. Here you can see, once again, he's going to throw to the running back. I'll give that up. I don't care. You want to throw it to the running back on second and 23, come up with a third and 16. You can do that all game. On the next play, once again, he's going to roll out. We're going to hit that R3. Send that close to the defender. Sure enough, I got to take away that deep throw to the running back. He tries to playmaker, but I'm all over it, and we knock that ball down. That's what I mean about filling in the blanks. If I were to use or chase the quarterback, there's no way that the computer is going to cover those. So I have to cover those. I got to be smart about it, and we're basically taking everything away. Here on the next play, gotcha, bitch. I mean, he tries to throw it up. There's nothing there. Nothing's open. He could have threw it to the slant, but I don't think the slant would have got to 16 yards. It was fourth and 16, so he had to force it down the field. And that's a real quick game because my opponent's going to quit at 7 nothing In a draft champions, which is pretty rare. So you're going to see, I mean, I got sacks, interceptions. Nothing was open i mean i control the entire field all with pretty much one defensive play and i didn't give up a single point in two games so you can see how successful that is so that's it that's the video if you guys want to see more gameplays more breakdowns more defensive plays like this do me a favor let me know in the comment section hit the like button other than that thanks for watching man my shit out you win perfect Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.